Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to be walking through setting up a security role for an average salesperson in Dynamics 365. So we're gonna be going into an existing security role inside of Dynamics 365 CRM and copying that role to a new one so that we can make modifications to the security role. If I go to sales or go to the menu, go to settings and then security, security roles can be accessed inside of the security area in Dynamics 365. You want to make sure that you have the rights to get into this area, otherwise you won't be able to access the security roles. So the existing out-of-the-box security roles are showing up here, and there are a lot that come with the system. Just remember the best practice is not to change the existing security roles, but rather modify them by doing a copy to, saving those as something else, and then changing those newly copied security roles. So for this example, we're going to copy the out-of-the-box salesperson security role and revoke the delete privilege for accounts. So I'm going to select that record and then choose more actions and copy role. So think of this like you're doing a save as on a different kind of document on your system. We'll just call this salesperson with no account delete. As you're implementing your security in your system, you might want to think about who should have the rights to delete certain records, and is there a process that you need to put in place in order to get records marked as deleted. Okay, so now that we've set up the security role, you can see that we're inside of it. There are a number of tabs associated with security roles, and if I go to the core records, I'll find my core entities. So out of the box, the users have the ability to delete their own accounts, and you can see that here based on the icon that's explained to you in the legend. So if I want to remove the right to delete accounts that are assigned to the current user or the owner on the record, then I can just simply keep toggling that radio button until it goes blank in the middle. So you can see here the delete right is now revoked on the account entity. So you can make a lot of changes across the board, across many, um, or all, if not all the entities in the system, and there are a lot of options here. Be careful when you're removing delete rights, you may actually be removing the right to perform data imports. They do require some delete rights, so check out our video on that. Once you've made the changes that you need to have on the record um, there, then you just cl simply click save and close. And then that security role will be available to assign to users in the system. And voila, there it is, salesperson with no account delete. I can then go into the users and assign them to this security role. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Join me next time for more information about security on our Channel Q review focused on CRM security. Thanks. Did you get the data, Toots? I'm about to get a lot more than data once my company finds out I exported these documents. A one-way ticket to the big house. You ain't headed to the hot seat yet. We're gonna be exporting ourselves once we get that dough. We're just lucky the big cheese didn't restrict our ability to export all this data before it was too late. It's a mistake our company won't be making.